Welcome and thank you for joining me for Distance Education Support for Families. This session, Accessing Actively Learn, is brought to you by the Family and Community Engagement Services, FACES Department, and the K-12 Literacy and Language Development Department of the Clark County School District. My name is Amy Raymer and I will be your presenter. Actively Learn is a digital reading platform for students in grades 2 through 12. CCSD students have access to this resource until July 31, 2020. Using Actively Learn to practice reading and writing skills over the summer break can help support students' literacy development. This video will show you how to access Actively Learn, create a student account, and navigate the online reading platform. To begin, Actively Learn can be accessed by going to summerconnections.ccsd.net. Click on the Actively Learn icon and then complete the login through the Clever portal. From the front page of Actively Learn, select Student Sign Up. Create an account using your student's name and email address. Your student has their own individual nv.ccsd.net address that can be used to create their account, or you can use a personal email address to sign in to Actively Learn. Create a password that you and your student will easily remember for quick access to the program. If your student already has an Actively Learn account from their teacher, that account can be used to log into the program as well. Once your student has created their account, select the grade level that best suits your student. Your student has access to all grade level reading passages if they choose to increase or decrease the difficulty of the text they choose to read. Once your student's grade level has been selected, as you can see from the top of the grade level section, fifth grade has been selected for this student. On the right hand side of the page, passages at your student's grade level will be available. You can immediately click on a passage from the right hand side and begin reading and answering questions about the selected passage. If your student would like to select a group of passages based on their interests, the menu directly under the grade level will allow students to narrow their search. After your student's grade level has been selected, your student can choose one of the topics from the list below the grade level selection. This is not a required step, but it allows for choice in student reading based on their interests. Note that the numbers behind each topic indicate the number of passages in that topic for the grade level your student has selected. To further refine passages for your student, a Lexile level may be selected in order to lower or extend the reading level of the grade level passages. A popular method used by schools to measure a student reader's ability is a Lexile level or Lexile measure. A Lexile measure is a valuable tool for teachers, parents, and students. It serves two unique functions. It is the measure of how difficult a text is or a student's reading ability level. If you are unsure of your student's Lexile level, you can refer to the last column on the Common Core Lexile levels to gauge your student's reading level. The numbers in gray after each Lexile level note the number of passages at each of the Lexile levels available. The final two selections per grade level are text types and page count. There are a variety of longer and shorter passages for students to access. Students may also select a number of pages they would like to read. Now that your student has made their selection for grade level and desired topics, Lexile levels, text types, and or page count, select a passage from the choices provided. The passage will open with the title of the passage, a score generated from other students' ratings, and an option in the bottom right of the screen to read it now. Click this link to access the passage. By clicking on the two T's at the top of the passage, your student can choose to create more space between the sentences, make the words larger, change the font, change the color of the question area, and number each paragraph to better access the text. This is not a required action, but it may help your student to select one of these options to make the passage easier to read. If your student would like to have the passage read, select the play button at the top of the page. This can help students with fluency and listening comprehension. By highlighting unfamiliar words, students can select an option to take notes on this section of the passage to help them remember. Hear it to listen to the word as it is pronounced, define to receive a definition of the unknown word, or translate to select the student's language and see that word written in the language selected. 
When a student selects Highlight and Take Notes, a box appears in the Notes section of the passage on the far right of the page. These notes can help students recall words or connect with the text. Now that your student has decided on how to view each passage and learned how the tools work, each passage begins with a short question that asks students to reflect on what they know about a topic of the passage. Students must complete this question in order to move on to the passage. As your student progresses through the passage, questions will be asked which must be answered in order to continue to the next part of the passage. Note the standard on the question. This shows that the question is aligned to a specific reading standard. After the student completes the questions for the passage, by selecting the bar graph icon at the far right of the screen, the score for the questions is provided. This allows for parents to see which questions were correct and submitted for each passage. Directly below this chart are the vocabulary words that the student highlighted for better understanding. Once the student completes the passage, from the main page, the reading log lists all of the passages that the students have read. This is a great tool for parents or guardians to see how long each student spent on each passage, as well as the number of pages of the passages. In the CCSD Summer Connections Weekly Packets, the recommended amount of time students should read each week is between two and three hours. Your student's reading log will also show you how much time your student has read during the week. We hope that this session from our series of distance education support for families was beneficial. Please let us know what other topics meet your interests and needs. You can call, email, or reach out through the FACES website, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. Please know that the Family and Community Engagement Services Department of the Clark County School District is here to support you during this time and always. We wish you and your family's health, happiness, and continued success. Thank you for participating.